Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about quantifiers in logic. Quantifiers are something that we can add to a mathematical statement that tell us how many. For example, all dogs have four legs. The quantifier here is all. It asks or answers the question, how many dogs have four legs? Well, all of them. Every square is a rectangle. In this case, every is our quantifier. No markers are blue. No is our quantifier. Quantifiers like these, all, each, every, no, or none, are a type of quantifier called a universal quantifier. They are all or nothing quantifiers. Sometimes we might see this symbol, which looks like an upside down capital A, and that stands for a universal quantifier. So it stands for each, all, every, etc. We do have another type of logical quantifier that still tells us how many, and instead of being all or every, it is kind of the opposite of that, like some birds can fly. So here, some is our quantifier. There is at least one even number. In that statement, there is at least one is our quantifier. There are people that enjoy math, believe it or not. In that one, there are is our quantifier. So these quantifiers are what we call existential quantifiers. You can think of that as it tells us that at least some exist. So some, there are, there is, there exist, there is at least one. All of those are existential quantifiers. The symbol for that looks like a backwards capital E and it stands for there exists or there is or any of these. Let's take a look at the negations of statements with quantifiers. So if we use our example, all dogs have four legs. The negation of that is that there is at least one dog that does not have four legs. So the opposite of all of something being true is at least one does not fit that pattern. If we take our example, every square is a rectangle, again, the opposite of every is there is a square that is not a rectangle. So at least one of them does not fit the pattern. No markers are blue. So the opposite of none would be there exists at least one blue marker. If we take some birds can fly and we think about what is the opposite of that, that we could say all birds cannot fly. Or maybe you might write that as no birds can fly. So here, the opposite of an existential quantifier is a universal quantifier. There is at least one even number. Well, no numbers are even is the opposite there. There are people that enjoy math. The negation of that would be no people enjoy math. In general, as we just saw, the negation of a universal quantifier uses an existential quantifier, and the negation of an existential quantifier uses a universal quantifier. So we can keep in mind that all do has the negation of some do not. The negation of none do is at least one does. If we take the statement some do, the negation of that would be all do not. And if we take the negation of at least one does, we can say each does not. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this video on quantifiers in logic and how to take their negations. To see more like this, keep on watching and we'll catch you in a future video.